Selecting and validating that you have the right robot for a palletizing work cell can be a challenging task. Today's quick tip will demonstrate how the Material Handling Assistant in SolidWorks Robot Programmer Professional can expedite this task. We will start by adding an empty manufacturing cell by clicking New Content under the large plus icon. Once the empty manufacturing cell is open, we will exit the 3D simulation environment to insert the robot, gripper, and conveyor for our simulation. We do this directly from the bookmark browser, which can be found in the tools section of the bottom toolbar. First, we insert the robot, then the conveyor, the packaging box, and finally the vacuum gripper. To easily move things around in our work cell, we enable Snap automatically to select an object. Doing this makes it easier to reposition the conveyor and robot, as well as other objects in our work cell. Next, we position the conveyor by moving and rotating it to ensure that the correct end of the conveyor faces the robot. We are now ready to start the Material Handling Assistant by returning to the 3D simulation environment which can be accessed by clicking the 3D simulation icon on the bottom toolbar. To accurately define a palletizing work cell, you need to define four objects, the resource, the loading, the supply, and the product. First, we add the gripper loading device to the robot resource object. Sometimes you will need to rotate the gripper. In this case, we must rotate the vacuum gripper 180 degrees. After this, we click Add, and we see it turn green in the Resource tab. Next, we select the conveyor to define it as the supply object. The conveyor is already equipped with sensors and a source to create the supply parts. Next, we add a pallet by clicking the plus sign under the loading support. This brings up the pallet definition window. There are already many standard pallets defined. We select number two and click OK. The pallet is inserted into the design position, and we can now move it to the desired position. The last object that we need to define is the packaging box, which is the item we are stacking on our pallet. We click the box, and then add under the products tab, which turns it green. We can now edit the properties by clicking the gear icon. In the properties, we can change various properties of the box, such as weight and stacking height. We are now ready to simulate the palletizing work cell. This is done by clicking the play button in the simulation tab. The simulation is now running and boxes are being created, sent down the conveyor and placed on the pallet. If we need to change the time it takes between creating we can stop the simulation and change the timer interval by double-clicking the box, 